All right, so I've created a hollow area in the middle of my case using a Boolean. Um, when I zoom in on it, though, I do see that there's an issue. We see some overlapping happening where the two objects are occupying the same space, at least slightly. Uh, the Boolean is, is not perfect. So let's see if I can deal with that. Uh, let's go to the 3D print toolbox. And we will do a quick check and see what that gets us. Okay, so we do see that there are a number of zero faces. And I'm wondering if we go into edit mode and select those. Those happen to be the areas where I had just done the Boolean. <clears throat> okay, so that's all well and good. I think I'm going to show the cavern again, and let's just get into a front view. There is uh, a tool right here, push, pull, or shrink, fatten, that can be useful. I think rather than using it here, though, I'm going to go up and go to mesh, transform, and push, pull. And then I'm going to specify on X... And I'm going to just type in 1.25, just kind of picking a number. I'm going to push 3 to get to a side view, and I think I'm going to do the same thing. So I'll go up to everything still selected. I'll go up to Mesh, and I will go to my Transform, Push Pull, this time saying that I want it to happen on Y in the similar number let's uh, go back into object mode and see if things appear to have changed and yes I think that may have resolved the issue so that's great then the next question is if I choose to do something about the zero faces themselves or not for the moment for the moment at least I'm not going to worry about that but the main thing is to just understand that basically what I did was I took those faces and based on where the pivot point of the object was, I basically pushed them slightly away from that area, creating a slightly larger envelope for this to exist, for the cavern to exist within.